everyone, and thank you for joining us for the final night of Pesa Raya's Director's Chat. Um, for it, This is the final installment, uh, and thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Uh, tonight, for the next hour, we'll be chatting with the director of Waris Sun, uh, Mr. Riri Riza. Um, and he has been making films for over for many, many years. And his film, Laska Pelagi, was adapted to a musical and presented at Pesa Raya back in 2011. Fast forward 10 years later, Riri has been Riri invited has been to produce, to produce uh, and direct uh, a short film in response to our theatre production, Pulang Balik by Theatre Ikamatra. Um, so we will be joining him later. Uh, with uh, He'll be joining us later for a chat. But before that, we would like to take the opportunity to thank supporting sponsor of Pesa Raya 2021, the Silent Foundation, and supporting sponsor of Riri Riza's Warisan, um, the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia, Republic of Singapore. And before we begin, um, we would like to uh, invite the ambassador, uh, His Excellency Suryo Pratomo, the Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the Republic of Singapore, to say a few words. Ambassador, please. Thank you, Hani. So thank you, Esplanade, for inviting me for the second director chat series for Pesta Raya this year. As I mentioned yesterday, I'm very thankful for the opportunity given by Esplanade to two Indonesian filmmakers Riri Risa and Gari Nugroho to participate in this year Pesta Raya. So I hope that the presence of the Riri uh, this evening can make closer our cooperation, especially for cooperation with two people to people connection. So as enabling countries, with a very close proximity, the people of the Indonesia and Singapore interact closely in almost every aspect. Especially before pandemic, we can see a large number of Indonesian people coming to Singapore and vice versa. However, due to the pandemic, the people of the two countries are not be able to have the same level of interaction. So this Pesta Raya is important as a way to maintain the people-to-people -people connectivity between Indonesia and Singapore. Especially this year, Pesta Raya is a special one since you celebrate the 20th edition of the festival. So tonight, we have an opportunity to meet with the Riri Risa. I know very well Riri. Uh, when I still in Metro TV, Lisa is uh, support and assist us, especially for documentary competition for the, the amateur filmmaker. So uh, Riri is not become a jury, but Riri become a mentor for them. So I know Riri Risa very well. And also, of course, many film have already produced with, by Riri uh, to Two film make that I have uh, still remember and actually very influenced me. First one is the Petualangan Serena. It's very wonderful film. The musical film I still remember the skin by skin until now. The second one is the uh, what we call uh, ada apa dengan cita and laskar pelangi. Laskar Pelangi until now has become one of the Riri Risa film. Give the use of uh, contribution to promoting Belitung. So I think for the Singaporeans, you know very well about Belitung. Once is because Riri produced the Laskar Pelangi. We can see the beautiful of the Belitung from the Riri Risa film. So I hope this evening, you can explore and asking everything to Riri. I'm sure that Riri will be answer everything, Najib. And the second one, of course, uh, uh, we have an opportunity of to see the film, uh, short film produced by Riri is Warisan. Uh, I don't know if Riri will be explore more about that film, but I'm sure it's very interesting. So once again, thank you so much. So I wish for a successful 
Pesta Raya 2021. Thank you so much, Sunny. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, His Excellency Pak Suryo Pratomo, Ambassador to the Republic of Indonesia to the Republic of Singapore. Thank you very much, sir. Um, then now it's time for us to invite our next guest. Actually, he is our host for tonight, uh, Mr. Najib Ali. Hi, Najib. I think you're on mute. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm excited. Hello, <laughs> Najib. Hello. Um, uh, our uh, third uh, night. Uh, so I cannot yes. say that I miss you, but I will see you later, honey. Yes, I will see you, I will see you later as well. So okay. thank you very much for hosting tonight. And yes. um, I leave it to you to invite our special guest for today. Take it away, Najib. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, the good people of Esplanade for organizing this talk. And of course, thank you to His Excellency Bapak Suryo Pratomo, the Ambassador of the Republic of Indonesia to the Republic of Singapore. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I will be chatting with an extraordinary person, an award-winning and esteemed director. To me, he's a thoughtful craftsman who brings an undeniable style of filmmaking, a very well-respected figure within the industry, not only in Indonesia, here and beyond. I have watched many of his films, from Kul Desa, Pertualangan Sharina, and of course, Ada Apa Dengan Cinta, that catapult Nicholas Saputra and Dian Sastrovodoyo to a superstar status. Only him can do it. The box of his last car pelangi, Gi, Bebas, and many more. I have so much respect and love for this guy. Riri's films are important for lots of reasons. One of which is he clearly managed to highlight the richness and beauty of Indonesia and its people, showing us a wider representation and giving us a better understanding of Indonesians and its culture to his storytelling, his unique characters in all his movies. This year at Pesta Raya, Riri brings us Warisan, a deeply personal short film and intimate portrayal of heritage, legacy, and memory. Please welcome a highly evolved person, a talented being, Riri Reza. Apa kabar, Mas? Apa kabar, Najib? <laughs> wow, um, your, intro, your introduction yeah. blew me away. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. For the lovely acknowledgement for the introduction. And that's all true. Nothing is false. It's all about um, you and it's all true. Kamu di mana? Where are you now, really? I, I'm in Bali, actually. Wow. But okay. not very much for holiday. You know, the situation mm. is not very favorable for like a leisure trip. But I have to be here for... I'm doing a documentary. Okay. I'm working, I'm working on a documentary about mm. one of the most prominent figure in the in the uh, public health uh, policy in Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. Happens to be a woman, a very special mm -hmm. woman, very beautiful woman. Uh, her name is Suli Antisaroso, and uh, mm -hmm. he's one of our uh, most outstanding and famous epidemiologists. Uh, mm. It's a story about that very much uh, relatable for our world today, our Indonesia mm. today, very important figure. So yeah. I'm very happy. He, she was born here and her family still live here. And uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a cool story. It's a, I'm it's sure it's a cool story. And, yeah. and I'm so great, grateful to be here. So and, I'm, and, I'm grateful to see you, Najib. And, oh, thank you. And, and, I want also, to be, and, I, and also his excellency just before. And oh, yes. uh, also I think, you know, we, we, we are very lucky because People with a background on media and culture become uh, the, the ambassador for mm -hmm. Indonesia and Singapore, and it will be. They, we we have a chance to be more connected. I think mm. so. Let's hope for yeah, after but, this pandemic, we'll be, we'll be travel to Singapore more for some cultural and yes, art, and film, and everything. Yeah. And I'm very very jealous that you're in Bali now, Riri. <laughs> <laughs> the sun, the sun here is yes. so beautiful. Okay, stop it, stop it, don't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. gini mas, di saat satu yeah. gini dengan gejala pandemic, I yeah. can see that you're still busy working, producing, directing. How important is it to you to still continue working in spite of these challenging times? Yeah. Okay, I think, first thing first, I think mm. we, this is a time that very affecting for us, it's a yeah. time that very uh, 
it will change a lot of the way we interact, the way we communicate, basically mm. the way we see ourselves, I think. So mm. I really I really think it's still important for us people who work in film, in arts to 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 explore our medium mm. during this time. Mm. So, you know, I for example, what I'm 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 talking about the documentary that I'm doing now. The yep. well, I, I I did a feature film uh, last November with a very strict protocol, with a very you know strict creative approach. Yeah, to, to make yeah. sure, and it mm. becomes some some kind of work, you know. Mm. That I, I believe in the next twenty years, if we watch mm. it again, we will see that this time, you know, mm. we, people have a you know different kind of uh, way of uh, interact and. They, it may change mm. our approach to making whatever we're doing, mm. uh, you know, uh, uh, forever. Mm. You know, I think I think this is a this is a very important time to to be to be documented, mm. you know, to be reflect upon one mm. day. So mm. that's why every time we always look for ideas uh, mm. of what, what sort of story to tell during this time, you know. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Now, before we talk about Warisan and many more, I like to ask one one thing about your Warisan, which is <laughs> your first love. And mm. sebelum menjadi figure terkenal di dalam film ini, you were in a rock band, you were a drummer, and you wanted to pursue music seriously. Uh, is that true? And how did you get into filmmaking from music to filmmaking? Yeah. I saw some of your photos in the internet. You have long, nice hair. Oh. I wanted to show it, but you know, I just can't. I, can't, I have to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Basically, I, I, you know, as as teens, you know, in Indonesia back in the in the eighties, you know, mid eighties, you know, television become. I mean, pop culture basically, uh, you know, like. Uh, like a tsunami, you know, in, mm. our, in our young time, you know, we, we have lots of influence from the West. And I think uh, our cultural policy is more towards opening our sky to yeah, the Western obviously. influence. Yes. You know, so if I say I want to be, become a musician, it's because I have so many pop idols, Najib, during that time. I see. Uh, well, of course, MTV, you know, is coming mm. to us. The privati- privatization of media, which is like, mm. when I was when I was like 10 or until I was 13 years old, mm. I can only watch one TV station, which is controlled mm. by the government. Radio mm. controlled, basically media is controlled by the, by the new order government. And mm. then we have open sky policy, which is more towards the West. So, I have a lot of influence. My brother is actually a big fan of many pop, you know, new wave. And, and we at home, I always listen to, you know, punk, uh, wow. you know, new wave. Uh, mm. you know, before, we even listened to lots of classic rock. And so, and I and I lived in Jakarta when I was, uh, like, since I was 10 years old. I was born in Makassar and then we moved to Jakarta. So my exposure towards pop culture is more. So, you know, I'm in love with rock music. I think it's the best way to express yourself during that time because we are very, we are very much uh, restricted. You mm. cannot talk about many things. You cannot, you cannot say many things. We are, I was raised in a very conservative Muslim family. Uh, mm. And of course, you know, uh, like many families in Indonesia, you are, you are told to be this and that, you know, at school also you were told to be, you have to obey too many rules and restrictions. Mm. Rock music for me is like a way out mm. that mm. Not, not lead me to drugs uh, or things <laughs> like that. So I, I was, I'm very serious, you know. I was, I was already almost a professional musician when I was in high school. I made yes. money. I made money yes. for myself already. So I yeah. think I want to, I want to go to music. Ah, ironically, in late mm. '88, in late '80s, there was only one. There was only one like a proper art school in Jakarta, which mm. is where I went in the end. But when I came to IKJ, Institute of mm. in Jakarta, the music department is struggling mm. because actually there are, there are no people, inter- there are not many, you know, people interested to enter the music department. Mm. So they said, well, this uh, department is about to close. Why don't you go there to film department? <laughs> and, you know, 
that time, mm. well, this is again pop culture. Yeah. I remember the um, I remember uh, there are some some great films released, you know, during mm. during the mid 80s and I remember I went to see Dances with Wolves by Kevin Costner wow. which yeah, is right. which is portraying the life of uh, you know, civil uh, a soldier and during the civil war in US with the mm. with the you know, Indian uh, people, you know that that you know strike me how how come this medium is very strong and powerful to talk about mm. you know people mm. and history and then not long later mm. eros jarod and christine hakim released chutnya din mm. which is also an amazing film and i remember during the holiday right after graduate has high school me like a, with a bunch of friends we went to see that film and mm-hmm. see that side by side with dances with wolves it blew me away mm. you know and i wow thought, wow this is like the screen is so big they mm. can actually portray i mean it's one of the most influential time for me and mm. you know and then i know uh, some close friend my my brother went to study visual arts after music my my uh, other uh, brother went to study architecture after becoming mm. a musician And then I talked to my friends and I said, yeah, maybe I can continue to be a musician, but I have to study something else. And I think <laughs> film, film yeah. is something because in, in, in the art school, we have, a, we have a film department. And then I realized when I read the catalog and you learn everything in film, you know, editing, mm. music, mm. cinematography, acting. So I said, maybe this is, this is good. And, you know, right there, I, I found cinema. Yeah, and yeah. I'm interested. I actually interested in history. I was actually interested mm. in politics, and mm. I started to know more about how the relation between media and politics in Indonesia by mm. study film. Mm. So basically, you know, it's a, yeah. it's a, it changed my life. Uh, after that, I I was in band for in music for about mm. one year only, and then I got mm. a scholarship to visit the Berlin Film Festival in, yeah. in Berlin. One of the biggest film festival i watch movie from nine in the morning until one o'clock in the morning basically mm. and i was like oh my god this is it man i have <laughs> this is the world that i'm going yeah basically i'm glad that you don't become a rock star but you <laughs> definitely rock the film world today. <laughs> now really uh, yes. in this film which is uh, warisan we get to know that you are orang makassar And you are proud to be one, really. And you show it very well. Jadi, uh, saya di Singapura ini, I know lots of uh, orang Javanese, orang Boyanese, mungkin uh, orang Banjar, mungkin Makassar, jarang. Mungkin hmm. please tell me more about Makassar, the culture, what makes it so unique, uh, uniquely uh, or different from the other Indonesian, maybe? Yeah. I, I think basically we are, we are one of the, one of the region Or mm. provinces, South Sulawesi, uh, has uh, that has like three or four different ethnics that all of them are very strong, mm. uh, very distinctive. Uh, even though we, you know, it's not very big uh, piece of the island. It's the island mm. of Sulawesi, which is like a K letter, which is it's only in the south uh, below. But all very strong uh, culture, and Makassar is uh, 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 very famous for its, you know, the the kingdom uh, is almost as equally strong as Majapahit and Sriwijaya. Mm. They fight the Dutch colonial very uh, hard, and mm. they also have a very distinctive way of uh, cultural expression, like their language mm. is very beautiful. They have their own sort of uh, lontar or uh, you know the old uh, scripture. Mm. And they have uh, lots of uh, ceremonies, like uh, 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 which is very related to the land that they have. Mm. Uh, they are very, very famous for their uh, uh, sea culture, sailing, mm. sailor. They are, they are okay. very, they are very famous sailors. They, okay. uh, the the Makassar people, known to be in outback Australia since mm. the year eight. Uh, in since the since the seventh or eighth century, so okay. they already sail all, all the way and make trading businesses uh, 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 along many parts of uh, Nusantara and also also in in, in Australia. So this is very interesting uh, uh, finds uh, lately. 
Mm-hmm. They started to find some Aboriginal uh, culture, uh, uh, ethnics in Australia that mm-hmm. have same words with the Makassar. Oh, okay. And All they right. have lots of uh, trading and exchange in, you know, since the uh, 7th or 8th century. Mm. So they're very famous in, in sailing. They're, you know, they're, they're very, also have um, uh, lots of uh, 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 cultural expression that actually more towards spiritual expression. Mm. Uh, that, that, that was the practice that I had since I was very young. We were a Muslim family, but we mm. also have accompanied uh, practice, which mm. is came from my mother, uh, mm, mm. my mother's side of family, and uh, mm, mm, mm. it has become a very unique, uh, yeah, different uh, differences uh, uh, with other. And of course, the landscape, the culinary specific, very specific culinary, which is different from, you know, different part of Sulawesi or especially Java. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I think okay. I think that that's one one thing that for me always very special. Yeah. Mm. Can you talk in uh, dialect Makassar a bit? Like you know, say hello to Singapore in Makassar, or like, have you eaten? Are you okay? And all that. I want to be here. Salam, salam aki. Sudah making andre. Oh, okay. Lagi. Salam aki. Salam aki. Salam aki means uh, greetings. Okay. Sudah making andre. Berarti have you have you eaten? Have you had oh. dinner? Yeah. Ah, okay. <laughs> we have then, we have very food, very very famous food. For example, like palumara, you know the mm. the, the sweet and sour uh, fish mm. uh, that is very famous from Makassar. Mm. We have uh, different kind of uh, sambal, of course, you know, mm. which is very specific and unique from the land. And uh, yeah, <laughs> now you so make me ha- now you're making me very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> sweet, Najib. The sweet is. Yes, oh my God. Uh, yeah. And we, ha- we have a certain kind, a very unique kind of soto, okay. which, which we call choto makassar, ah. which is basically like a very strong uh, spices uh, soup. Okay. Uh, you know, and people there, they have it for breakfast, they have okay. it for lunch, and they mm. have it not only for dinner, for, but for supper. Okay. After late, late, like a late, late supper. <laughs> So, oh my God, you know. Okay, when the border is open, I'm going to meet you yes. in Jakarta and you're going to bring me to all this Makassar food, okay? Really? Yes, 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 please, Najib. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a date, that's a deal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> the language, the, the first thing when you talk about language, I, I think I'm, I'm uh, in the film, is about the music. Is that in Makassar language? Is that a song that you wrote or is it a, is an old tradition song? Is it a, is a kid song? You know, the music is so haunting. Yeah, the music is actually come from a ceremony of wedding. You know, mm-hmm. like uh, bef- when the when the bride arrive, when the oh. yeah, when the bride arrives in the groom's house, uh, mm-hmm. there are there will be dancers that accompany them, and okay. the music. This is the kind of music, and they walk mm-hmm. very slowly, very elegantly, mm-hmm. and they bring lots of offers, and um, so see. it's a very it's a very uh, old. Mm. Uh, music and uh, um, I, I, I actually this one is actually the one that I recorded from a very old group of dancers okay. for mm. my previous feature film uh, that mm. I directed that I wrote in back in 2016, which is based mm. in South Sulawesi, and mm. that music is actually came from the film. I see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. So it has an, it's an opening. Uh, yes. Entry for the bride come to. So you are you you were the the bride and the bridegroom together when you walk with your items yes. into the show. Yeah. Yes. yes so yes. in this anthology of five films, three directors, two talks about the grandfather, and you talk about not talk about you pay tribute to your mother. Uh, so how close are you with your mom? And tell me, you know, the, how different is seorang ibu Makarsar itu dengan kalau dibedakan dengan ibu ibu yang lain? And tell me also about your relationship with your mom. Yeah. Actually, I'm very close because um, I'm the youngest son. I still have a younger sister, but you know, always in 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 yeah, in many culture, in many Nusantara Asian culture, youngest son is always very you know very close to the mother. I mean, become you become you be, you have a huge responsibility to the family, and my mother is. Uh, 
my mother, I think, have a very good example of how she creates this atmosphere of respect for okay. for my father, for the man mm. in the family. And um, and uh, my mother is is a very very sangat lembut ya, perempuan mm. sangat lembut, tetapi punya kekuatan yang luar biasa di dalam mm. ketegasan yang luar biasa at the same time. Mm. So it's very lembut, but that's a, you know for some points, you know for yeah. for example, you know she wanted to know who's you know my you know what kind of study that I want to do. To, you know, truly make me consider it seriously, and she will she will look for the for whatever opportunity to make sure mm. that uh, I will I will make it. You know, like mm. I my 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 older this is what I witnessed during the time. My older mm. brother decided that he wanted to study continue his study to the states, mm. and my father was a retired government official you know, still so, so it's a very risky for my father to decide you know so and they mm. i remember they discussed this in front of me and my mother said mm. don't worry go i still have my own gold i still have my inheritance <laughs> from my father yeah and i think you should go my, we called my mm. brother mo mo should go mm. and then she would do whatever to make sure mm. now that's the thing i remember You know, I don't mm. really, I didn't really understand how he managed that because mm. you know she's basically a ibu rumah tangga. You know, mm. yeah, dia mengurus anak saja. Dia, she doesn't mm. have any, any. She didn't have any, you know, job or mm. businesses. So, but actually, she always managed to make sure every mm. investment or the spare money and the spare gold that mm. he had is actually can. Be multiplied, multiplied every time. She has a mm. she has a way of, you know, investing in mm. a traditional uh, way. That, uh, mm. she, so I'm very close, also because you know I'm I'm basically even though I'm a rock rocker when I was young, <laughs> but I always come home for food. Wow. You know, my mother cooks very well, and mm. I always wait until you know I got a chance to be home and eat. Mm. And uh, talk to me, you know. She mm. always write, you know. Like mm. every time I went to ujian sekolah, she will mm. write down a little prayer in a piece of mm. paper. And I she see. sometimes I ignore it, you know. Mm. I keep it somewhere. I don't really think. Yeah. Does she Does um, she have a, 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 a nama timangan untuk Riri? Uh, well, actually. My name is very long, Najib. My name is oh. very formal, Muhammad Rifai Riza, and oh. she's the one who make like a, squeeze that name oh. into Riri. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Is that and, her in the photograph? Is that? Oh her yeah. The... yeah, that's her. Oh, that's, that's her. her. That's okay. her on her eightieth birthday at in my house, and I, I remember I took this picture with my cell phone, and that's mm -hmm. a, that. So I I hired a small band for her. Oh wow! Singing, singing old Makassar music. Mm. And she's very happy. She's like, mm. she's I'm like, sure. she's like amazed. Like, how come mm. it sounds so beautiful? Like a good, good cas old cassette. Mm. He said, and I said, Ibu, mm. itu penyanyi profesional in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, dia penyanyi, and, and she said, Oh my God! So, it, it's it's that the guy who sings Makassar is just yeah. amazing because it's in Jakarta far away from Makassar and wow. I can wow. get her like a, this small band and so that picture is very special and you know it's, that is kind of not only me you know mm. and with my mother not only me I have a lot of extended family cousin mm. you know even neighbor who mm. called who called her Ibu mm. and uh, one comment in in my Instagram post uh, about Warisan is from somebody I never recognized mm. who told me that he she was very fortunate that she was the neighbor of my mother. I see. And she got she got this little piece of sugar from my mother. Yeah, yeah. You know the sugar from the skippy jar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah. one neighbor went to the university uh, mm. Ujian and got mm. this little thing. So my mother is like that. So I'm, yeah. that's uh, the kind of uh, closeness in my memories. About wow. Yeah. yeah. You are so blessed. So blessed, so lucky. Mm. 
and what a gift that you gave it to her on her 80th birthday. Thank and you. the gifts, talking about the gift, the, the items, the gifts that were given to you four years ago after her passing. Is it four years ago after her passing that he gives you the, these no. gifts? Yeah, four years after she passed away in 2016. Okay. And, and she lives in a house which is very crowded, you know, with mm. things. And she, you know, you know, old Ibu, you know, old mother, yeah. you know, she always yeah. got gift from families. She always likes to collect little you know, things and mm. she kept lots of things from my father travels, you know. Mm. And uh, she kept so many things. So when she passed away, we kind of carefully decided what to do with all these things. And I see. I finally, I, we finally have a meeting and we said to one of our sister-in-law, who's mm. very close also to her, and we said, why don't you make decision which, which I see. things belong to whom? I and see. I just said, I just, you know, I will uh. be very happy to take everything, but you know, I cannot take everything the rest of the house too, you know, because yeah. you know, I have my own house, I have my own yeah. family. So one morning, my car went there to pick my things and then yeah. suddenly it's there. To be honest with you, Najib, and also mm -hmm. to all watcher, four years after, one year now until after that, epi, uh, the, the pandemic, come, I haven't really made any decision of what I want to mm. do. Mm. Indeed, I never actually open it. I just realized mm. So mm. it come in a in a in a in a clothing wrap like that. So mm. I never really got a chance to mm. truly, truly look at it. You know, filmmakers yeah. always have an excuse that we are very yeah. busy. <laughs> so yeah. so it's always there in the corner of my my son, my number son, my number two son house uh, yeah. a room. And I said, okay, uh, we'll keep Nene Ibu's. Uh, uh, belongings here do you mind she's and he said of course no problem and, and then we kept it there and then when i when i got the script of the monologues i said oh my god i think i still keep some of my waris yeah. mother's warisan yeah. up there and i suddenly look it up i started to open it and i said oh my god you know i was in yes so, I was so in what the, were your feelings then when you open it up you presented to you mas when you open up what were your first feeling how does it impact you when you see the first thing uh, from opening up that bunku sun, you know, I, I kind of think, of course, you know, it's big, it, it's heavy, and I think some of the things I definitely, my thought is, okay, this is going to be challenging to keep, you know, <laughs> you know my house, you know, you know, our kind of house, you know, I have lots of, yeah. you know, I have lots of toys, you know, I collect a little bit of toys, I have, I have books, lots of books, you know. Yeah. And, and you know, of course, my wife is also collecting books. My oh, son, is, no. my, my two sons, is a musician. We have a lot oh. of. So we are thinking hmm, how to match this stuff. And then I started to open and open, and then st I started to find things mm. that actually have so depth, deep of a stories of connection. Mm. I found mm. his little her, her little prayer book, mm. and actually I have some some writings that's specifically for me in it. Wow. wow. I have I have some pi old pictures of my my mm. son when, mm. when my son is only like two or three years old and she kept in some specific pages of prayers mm. uh, in that book. And then I, I found see. some plates, you know, mm. that actually belong to my father. So I thought, oh my goodness, like, you know, this is all, you know, half story. And, uh, mm. and uh, you know, I should seriously, seriously think of uh, how, how, how can I, how can I keep this? And, uh, and uh, at the same time, it, make, mm. it makes me think of this is going to happen to me one day. Mm. You know, I will mm. pass and I will have a legacy that I, that I, you know, inherit to my my son, my grandson, and and mm. how, how would it, you know, how is this thing, you know, how is this mm -hmm. thing with the past, you know? And I started to listen again to there some some of his like I told you before the the I mean our Nusantara 
culture in general general mm. is older than all religion. That's <laughs> right. That's right. Honest, you know, That's Islam right. Islam came here. Yeah. You know, only like you know maybe a hundred or two hundred years ago. But our yeah. this, this culture, this uh, expression, cultural expression that my mother give to my father, for example, of mm-hmm. how mm-hmm. he kept pumpkin in mm. on top of uh, the drawer. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Symbolize how I should keep this area revisited this area over and over because pumpkin is a uh, you know living materials that will rotten. Mm. So I should mm. keep all this area over and over to make sure that mm. this when this pumpkin is actually you know mm. cannot be used anymore or cooked or mm. ripe. Right. Yeah. You know, I should take it, and this mm. place must be clean again. And mm. also, this is the place where I keep, you know, the cutleries of my father okay. when he traveled. Well, mm. uh, the cutlery of my husband, I should think mm. of. Because that is something that I witness every time my father has to, you know, went for yeah. business trip or mm. you know his responsibility as civil servant. My mm. mother will take all his eating utensils, clean yeah. it, make yeah. it dry, put mm. a very beautiful uh, cloth on it, and yeah. put it on top of the drawer. I see. Which is very high, the highest in yeah. our house, mm. and make sure it's safe. If there's mm. an earthquake or something, mm. maybe will she will mm. realize it. But at least there, will be a, there won't be any chance that this thing will be used by other people when mm. he... You know, he's away. Mm. There, it will you stronger connection between mm. her and you know the person she loves, which yeah. is away. And yeah. So Reed, there's a, there was a scene. There was a scene in the film where you pour sugar into a bowl. Is that the same ritual that your mother always do to yeah. for your dad or for the whole family? What yeah. is the significance of that of that uh, 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 adapt that you're doing that? My my, my that, that's something that I always witness. Uh, like I mm. said. Uh, you know the 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 uh, the plate will be dried and clean mm. and you know I think uh, brass is always mm. is a symbol as you know our rejeki okay. you know uh, make sure there will always be plate in our uh, uh, there will be uh, rice and food in our plate and mm. then uh, sugar is always symbolize kindness sweetness and respect you know. Mm. Kindness, right? Uh, that's why also he always give a little plastic of sugar for me yeah. when yeah. I'm doing my interview or when yeah. I go for ex, you know, exam, for example. Sekantung uh, so, gula. Sekantung gula, <laughs> betul. Yeah. So it's a sweetness, you know. She always told me like, you know, if you have a packet of sugar when you meet people and you say this prayer like, Bismillah, tawakkal tu Allah, Allah, I always remember that because every time I leave from home, she will she will always say a little bit, almost like uh, out loud for me. Bismillah, tawakkal tu Allah, 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 and almost like a reminder, really. Yeah. Say it, yeah. and I say, yeah. always repeat it. And, I see. So, so yeah. So I think it symbolizes, you know, you know, good, good energy. I think, yeah. uh, you know, uh, rezeki, mm. uh, makanan yang akan selalu hadir di piring kami sekeluarga. Yeah. Uh, um, dan kebersihan. Yeah. You know, menjaga yeah. symbolizes bahwa kita, we are, you know, mm. we are. Sesulit apapun kita, kita harus menjaga kebersihan kita. We have mm. to keep our, our, you know, our food clean. Yeah. Resources where you, you where you find your food, it should be clean. Jangan ambil, mm. jangan ambil cari makan dari tempat yang kotor. Mm. Carilah makan dari tempat yang bersih. Carilah makan mm. dari tempat yang manis, yang baik. Mm. So if you, I think if you show that to your kids, you don't have to mm. say a lot, you know. You don't. Have mm. To, mm. You will always remember that, yeah. So, so this is the thing. Sometimes I intrigue. I was just thinking when you're talking about it. I'm, I'm thinking. I'm intrigued uh, tentang orang-orang Indonesia ni. Kadang-kadang mereka percaya tabu, superstition, sometimes supernatural. 
and yet at the same time orang-orang ni very religious gitu. I find that fascinating this duality, this plurality, this world, the two worlds that you all live in, you know. Hmm. So how that how that how do you balance these things? Hmm. Yeah. I I think you know there are there are things that changes in our society but hmm. I think for many 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 years I mean culture is always you know I think that's the magic of the land and hmm. how our ancestors keep us to to believe in that keep mm. always involve us in every practice uh, mm. of, of that mm. and and the land provide us with that you know pro- provide mm. us with you know with coconuts that create sugar with uh, you know paddy which is you know mm. utilized in so many things Tempeh, tempeh, kedela, yeah. Well, tempeh is a little bit of an imported culture. Oh, I mean, is it? Okay, sorry. It's more fermentation is come a little bit later. But okay. I think it's true, you know, we have so many natural resources that become mm. part of our spiritual practices. Mm. So that is not easily forgotten, Najib. It becomes something that you will always keep you will always mm. need to keep it this is it's not only something that you eat but it's always it's also something that symbolizes mm. you know things mm. and there's no basically you know it's a good it's a good thing because not, there's nothing we are wearing or we are yeah. we are using that not mm. that is not related to that well mm. of course now in the modern open more open world there are many things technology that interfere and Uh, changes a little things and one or two, but I think why you know all this spiritual and a sort of uh, mysticism is still mm. live very much around us because it all came from nature, from our land, mm. Mm. and we will we will always need that. Mm. Of course, technology and you know uh, the open world change that, but. I think somehow, you know, more and more people also like, a, you know, it's a, almost like a circular, you know, we, we are yeah. to, to our yeah. belief again. And I hope I will always, I will always be a keeper also. Mm. Mm. Because I think I, I'm very lucky I was born in a, in a family that um, even until now, we, we are still mm. very much... Uh, You know, yeah. in in birthday party for me at, at mm. least, you know, my son is a little bit changing, but for me, I always re- we always have a pisang, you know, because you yeah. know, in my mother time, in my father's time, we don't have a birthday cake, we don't grow candles, you I know, see. we have we have pisang and we have yeah. some fruits, we have some yellow rice, you know, mm. glutinous yellow rice and mm. some dishes and soto and different things. And then we pray in front of that as a blessing yeah. on the birthday. And I hope I I can have that because you know it's uh, I can I can I can document that, archive that, and I hope you know it can be the keeper of our our country, the keeper of our culture. Yeah, the and that's the reason why all of us love Indonesia. And I'm so glad that Indonesia is very near us. So my my grandmother my my mother is from Indo- uh, from Indonesia they are Javanese yeah. so you know I'm quite close uh, with that culture as well but yeah. uh, let me just talk uh, read some of the questions that asked by our viewers one of them asked here he says please explain the line so for yourself tell no one and one day you will reap or menabunglah untuk dirimu sendiri rahsiakan dari siapa pun satu hari akan ada manfaatnya So the question mm. is why rahasia kan? Why okay, is it so, a secret? Yeah, it's a, yeah, actually it's my mother's very important uh, message to to her daughter actually. To this is more to women. This is more women to women uh, talk actually. Uh, but I always remember this. I don't know why. She always mm. said, you know, you have a husband, you have a wife. Mm. But you keep something for yourself. Mm. It's not like a secret that, like, you know, a uh, bad secret. 
you know mm. we, were, we were told that you know we should we should uh in a modern uh uh, uh relationship you should be mm. open, you should be friend with your you know partner wife husbands or whatever but in my mother's belief yeah or wife should keep something for herself mm. and that wow. would be that would be very important and you know lately i found out that actually she said that this not only to her daughter mm. but also to her daughter in law so mm. after watching this my my sister in law the wife mm. of my older brother came to me texting mm. me she said, you know what my your ibu you know mm-hmm. my mother told mm-hmm. me that on the early uh, early marriage with my brother you mm. do something for yourself you don't mm. tell your husband everything that you own keep it you know mm. so it means something like now i understand how she can actually help my hus- my my father her mm. husband when mm. my my father have you know doubt of uh, send my brother to school in the US mm. because she always has her own way of saving you know mm. and it's a, it's very common actually in the south sulawesi uh, mm. uh women you know mm. they always they always have this way of you know keeping and usually they, it it has to do with gold investment you mm. know we always If you if you go to travel to the uh, Sulawesi to South Sulawesi, mm. you always amaze how how you know how gold is very important for women. You know. Yes, yes. Yeah, it is still is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, I think I think that that's what it means. You know, answering the mm. question. You know, you you are you are individual. You are mm. part of the society. You are part of the family. But at the same time, culture also. Tell you that you are an individual. You are responsible for yourself, and yes. you keep something for yourself. You don't. <laughs> you you always have to. Yeah, I think that's. Uh, that yeah. So with all these words and advices from your mother, and all these items that you have, so are you responsible to pass it down to your kids and so on? Is it pressurizing to think that you're going to keep this thing intact and always passing mm-hmm. it down? You know, uh, the way it is. I think. I think I will. You know, I think I I what I want to I what I want my son to know or my everyone to know is that I have a very strong respect to the not only to the tangible but also the tangible heritage mm. warisan. Mm-hmm. Itu yang that, menurut saya itu yang paling penting. Kita harus percaya yeah. bahwa di atas warisan material mm-hmm. kita harus meninggalkan warisan immaterial. Betul. Dan buat Betul. saya, mungkin saya tidak akan sanggup menjaga warisan uh, uh, material atau uh, mm-hmm. tangible dari dari ibu saya. Tetapi saya memiliki tanggung jawab dan passion mm. dan rasa uh, uh, kepedulian dan mm. uh, yang besar bahwa saya harus menyimpan. pesan mm. dia yang lebih non fisik yang lebih berupa imaterial. Mm. Oh, I I hope yang lebih akan diteruskan adalah pesan-pesan baik gitu. Mm. Itu yang saya harapkan. Mm. Dan uh, satu berkali saya respect sangat dengan uh, kerja-kerja kamu dan saya suka juga apabila membaca tentang cara kamu bekerja. And what fascinate me is that I heard that you are you are you give You are a guru with attention to detail in everything you do, especially in the movie. And in one of the movie, I heard that you insist that the fish served must be exactly the one that people in Makassar eat, like the paluara. Is it paluara ikan? Uh, paluara, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. paluara. Why, why is it important to be so extreme and be so detailed in each movie? So, no, I think, I think, you know. Uh, everything you do is mm-hmm. something that in in a film especially is a yeah. visual culture it will stay there forever najib and mm. it's actually it's actually you know i love watching classical good classical film and i and i that's what i respect from how 
film can be a, a lifetime yeah. reference for yes. our cultural for our culture. Mm -hmm. People will see it for a long time. People will, mm. and also cinema has this power of capturing things. And I, every time I see how I want to portray things, is I mm. want to see every if if I can. Mm. If, if if time permit, if mm. I have the and I work with the same producer for for the yes. last twenty five years, Mirala Spana, yes. which have yes. the, have the same vision as me when yes. we when we read books, when we read literature, when we listen to music, we like yeah. we like this little sound, like how this very important beat arrive in this. Yeah, when we read novel, we talk about how the so I think when we make movies, I think that's the yeah. consequences, and uh, mm. and it's my it's my it's my it's it's it, the fish is something that I eat almost. It's like a regular dish in my house, and I know exactly mm. how it, the color. I know exactly what's in there. You know, mm -hmm. like like how many pieces of shallots, how many pieces mm -hmm. of garlic, the the tamarind, the, mm. the, the cumin. You know. Mm. So that's the mm. kind of uh, that's something that I think I want to really portray, and I hope in the movie, uh, in yeah. The movie. And uh, yeah. like I said, you know, it will be a warisan from me. Yes, someday, you know. And, and and that's the big difference between you and me. I hate details. <laughs> I'm not detail yeah. at all. I'm the, yeah. I'm the bigger you're, picture. You're I'm you're you're picture. you're interested in interested in different kind of details, Nate. <laughs> I see. Thank you so much. <laughs> you know, so I thought when I was thinking about, I'm, am I going to do a movie? I said, oh my God, the, in, uh, the attention that I need to put in every detail and mm -hmm. the lines and oh my God, I have, I, I have no patience for that. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I admire people like you, and also because you talked, uh, you touch about Mira Lasmana just now, who is your uh, accomplice and someone who has been berkarya dengan kamu for mm -hmm. a very long time. I was just thinking. Is it really healthy to have someone for a very long time to work with? I mean, you know, you may have the same thing, but sometimes maybe you get too complacent, to get for too familiar with someone like yeah. that. I think film is a uh, is a medium that you will work with different area of uh, uh, stories, culture, uh, uh, dynamics every time mm -hmm. anyway. So. I think it's good to have like a one strategic partner that understands mm. you, as long as you still speak the same language and you keep it that way. You know, you have to, mm. you have to keep your each other updated with things that you believe. You have mm. to respect and be open. Of course, we have differences uh, from time to time, but mm. um, there are some certain principles that if you are good, if you mm -hmm. are. Uh, if you are equal and uh, have like uh, uh, same direction, uh, mm. I think I think it's it's much much better and it helps you a lot because you know, you know we we live in different time of uh, regime when mm. we if we we may film during the time of Suharto, we may film mm. during the time of you know transition of reform political mm. reform in Indonesia and we we made time until made film until today. So mm -hmm. there's always a different challenge, Najib. And mm. We always travel everywhere for films. That's right. right. Mm. We are not the kind of filmmakers that make film only in Jakarta or in studio. Mm. We are not catered to to you know to demands of market. Mm. We have our own way of you know constructing our film and trying to put the film to certain type of audience every time. You know, I mm. I made popular film, but I also made a very Unique, specific, and regional, very mm. uh, specific ethnic ethnic specific regional film. I, mm. I, so, and Mira believe in that too. You know, we mm. we we like to travel and you know understand Indonesia more and more uh, with our film. So, mm. so that that is the, the kind of thing that you know we're facing every 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 day, every time. And mm. we are we are not working on weekends. That's for sure. Mm. <laughs> but we, we work Monday to Friday writing stories, developing our yeah. script, and uh, travel for for locations, uh, research yeah. location. But 
over the weekend i have my family uh, yeah. she has her own family and uh, she she has her own uh, hobby i have my mm. own you know interest with with readings with music with yeah. with you know my kids and <laughs> You know, no. of course, different kind of challenge. So, you know, yeah. I think that's good enough, you know. Yeah. I mean, you, you, have, you and Mera Lesmana, I mean, you are so important, crucial in the perkembangan dunia film di Indonesia itu. Jadi, how is the state of film industry in Indonesia now, Mas? Do you like what you're saying at this moment? Uh, yes, I, th- I think we have a very good uh, development of, uh, what you call it, yeah. Uh, I think I think uh, the we have a lots of strong filmmakers from the new generation mm. uh which which you know have a very uh strong presence in indonesia international uh, film landscape we we have mm. uh, we have uh, lots of female powerful female directors now which i'm very happy about some of them are very young have a very good uh karya karya film yang bagus ya seperti mm. Surya, Camila Andini Uh, they are like the next generation of Nia Dinata and then mm. uh, yeah. mm. and we have we will have more. We started to have films from uh, regional part of Indonesia. We have a strong cult- film culture in Jogja, Jogja mm. Kata, for example. Lots of filmmakers that came from Jogja and making films specifically in Jogja, in Sulawesi, in Makassar. Also, we have a, our little film culture, and I mm. hope we will have more. So mm. I'm happy for that. And uh, our mm. our industry is also, you know, the the audience uh, box office mm. uh, in 2019 is growing very, very well. Uh, mm. The 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 uh, freedom of expressions, I said, still challenging. You know, mm. of course, uh, that is uh, the consequences of diversity. Mm. Because you know, we we are we are a biggest uh, Muslim population in the world. Uh, mm. We have uh, our uh, principle Pancasila that everybody uh, need to deal with also in terms of <laughs> different culture, but also yeah. unity of equality of diversity. And so making film mm-hmm. or having, you can still make films, mm. you can still have female filmmakers, you can That's still right. have regional filmmaking. Mm-hmm. In between all this, you know, mm. complexity of uh, our society, I think it's yeah. very good. Mm. Very good. But, um, but yeah, if you, if you, now, now, I know you work a lot in Indonesia, but if you're given a chance to collaborate something with a counterpart in Singapore or from Singapore, is there anything that you like to do? Saya sedang pancing, pancing. I think that. I think you, Malaysia. I have uh, sorry, Singapore. I have lots of uh, friends in in yeah. uh, Singapore. Uh, I, I'm a I'm a frequent uh, uh, visitor of uh, Singapore International Film Festival. Yeah. I admire the work of uh, Royston Tan, for example. Yes, yes. Uh, I would love to invite uh, some filmmakers from Singapore to make films in in Makassar, for example, mm. because somehow uh, we definitely have a connection of the Malay Peranakan culture in Makassar is also oh, very, sure. very yeah. strong. Oh, sure. yeah. uh, that is the kind of uh, uh, an example. And, uh, you know, we Southeast Asian filmmakers are very close, Najib, and I'm very happy yes. to know that, you know, I mm. I was invited to, for example, to give workshop in, in Kuala Lumpur, in Singapore, mm. uh, in Thailand, for, in Bangkok, for example, and I invited Filmmakers friend from Philippines, from uh, mm. uh, uh, Singapore, from Malaysia to Makassar because I mm. I, I run a film workshop in Makassar for the last 11, 10 years now, mm. and uh, uh, I always invite Southeast Asian filmmakers to give workshop there because I I believe that you have to learn not only from your fellow fellow countrymen but you mm. also have to learn from your neighbor. For sure, mm-hmm. yeah. And uh, we have a different kind of sensibility sensitivity to. When we when we talk about how, for example, we position the camera, how mm. we make uh, you know interaction within a scene, and uh, mm. you know, I always try to show Southeast Asian films in Makassar, for example. Mm. I, I said, don't watch only Jakarta films. You have to mm. watch, you have to watch Filipinos film. You have to watch Vietnamese mm. film. You have to watch Singaporean films. So you learn. Mm. And, And kamu tidak cengeng. Jadi kita kita tidak menjadi orang yang cengeng. Kadang-kadang 
sometimes kita mengeluh ya kita mengeluh hmm. betapa sulitnya mengembangkan diri di Betul. di Makassar di um, Ambon di Maluku di tapi ketika kita mendengar cerita-cerita dari wilayah lain di negara hmm. we realize that you know we are very lucky actually we have hmm. we have so many story to tell learning yes. from their experience yes. we have at least our industry population you know we mm-hmm. have a strong population we mm-hmm. have we have diaspora of for example maluku people in java mm. we have diaspora of japanese people in sulawesi or in mm. papua so you know that is the create you know dynamic of markets for mm. for you know for film for music and mm. now for for content for example mm. you know yes because, yes because there for example now we have a very very famous comedian in youtube mm. that actually not only famous in south sulawesi yeah. but famous also in java because there are lots of diaspora of sulawesi people in java mm. you know mm. so so this uh this this you know i i think i thought back to the question you know i would love to have you know collaboration <laughs> with you know my fellow singaporean uh, writer director to make film for example in one island yes and uh, in 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 makassar or in south sulawesi and uh, yeah okay <laughs> mas riri saya bisa bicara dengan kamu satu malam 24 jam bersama <laughs> mas riri ngobrolnya <laughs> bagus banget aduh But we only have an hour, Mas Riri. Gua geram. <laughs> so it has been really, really wonderful talking to you. I have so many questions. I got so many papers to... Oh uh, still many questions, but we are given this such a uh, time. And uh, before I leave, I just like to ask you, um, where we are living in a very uh, difficult time, the pandemic. Yeah, Mas yeah. Riri. I just wonder, how will you remember the pandemic this time? in maybe 20 or 10 or 20 years down the road how will you remember this hmm. i think it's a very you know it's a very for me personally mm. najib uh, it's a it's a very hard you know actually mm. I, i i i i lost so many friends i lost families lots of families so sudden and um, it made me realize that how how you know sometimes fragile we are in right. in this, uh, in this uh, so called very advanced uh, uh, community society and uh, um, i think making this short film uh, made me realize and reflect a lot also mm. so i'm very grateful for this opportunity and i thank mm. you for the opportunity because i by making this film i like i say make me think of what i will leave and this is mm. i made this, this this film during the time of pandemic and this is something that i will return to that there is always a beauty mm. uh, uh, you know in the during the hard time mm. uh, we we lost you know some of our loved, loved ones but we will we also remember the one that we passed before with you know with uh, with you know love with uh, mm. we also find a lot of kindness during this time mm. yeah mm. Uh, so yeah on the other hand strong relations also grown during this time you know because mm. we, uh, we suddenly we realized that how important this yeah. people in the public health service yeah you know we don't really care about them before and now yes. we, we need lots of volunteers because you know mm. during this pandemic the the volunteerism the kindness is something that mm. you know still around us actually mm. so we lost a lot of things but we also realized that we have so many things yeah yeah and i'm i'm so grateful to be here and i'm so grateful to talk to talk to you mas riri what a talented guy you are what a very evolved person you are not only you're creating great stuff but you are giving us ideas and you're giving us antidotes you're giving us vision that we always need in the film industry before yeah. we leave we're going to get uh, honey uh, back again honey up there uh because i want to thank esplanade for bringing us together yes uh, yes uh, thank you very much and uh, really i really hope uh, that you keep yourself safe Have fun in Bali, 
and be positive and keep creating and I'm looking forward for your next work always. Honey. Same to you, Najib. Terima kasih. Thank you so much, Mas Riri. Thank you so much, Najib. I really enjoy listening to the chat, um, the two of you. And then for the past three days, we had such wonderful conversations with all the directors that we've had um, um, for our specially commissioned films for this special edition of Pisa Raya, especially it's being our 20th edition. And everyone has who was involved in uh, the films were involved in some way or another for the past 20 years. Um, in Pesta Raya. So Najib, before we yes. end the night, um, yes. you've been asking everyone, what yes. is it about this pandemic that, uh, that will be left as a memory or, yeah. or something? You know, what, mm. then, what is your answer? <laughs> you really want to know? I mean, I don't have a big <laughs> philosophical answers like Riri. All I can think of 20, 10 years ago, uh, my nephew bought me a bicycle. And then during the pandemic, and uh, I've been cycling a lot around at the island. <laughs> and not only that, I think I'm keeping myself fit. And what I realized that this pandemic has given me the time, uh, give, uh, this pandemic has given me the gift of time. The time to just reset, the time to reflect. Because we always say we have no time. I have no time for this, I have no time for that. Now I have time for a bicycle, I have time to cycle. And I tend to reset anything that I want to do in the next future. And hopefully I can reflect back and say, I did the right thing. Or, you know, I've actually put some thought into whatever I want to do. Thank you. Thank you for asking that question, honey. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Um, before we end the night, we would like to take the opportunity to thank supporting sponsor of Pesa Raya, the Silent Foundation, and supporting sponsor for Masriri Riza's film, Warisan the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia to the Republic of Singapore. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for the past three nights. Please continue supporting all our programs that's still online on Pesta Raya's Facebook, our um, YouTube channel, as well as Esplanade's Offstage. Thank you so much. And we will Mas Riri, kita makan time. ya di Jakarta. <laughs> Pasti Najib. Pasti soon. See you all next year. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> Terima kasih. Salam, Hani. Terima kasih. Thank you so much, Mas Riri. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very Masiri, much. Thank you so much. It's been such a wonderful...